great. And I think over on CT side, they've utilized things like nade stacks, splash pushes really, really well. So I would like to think heading into overpass, they can bring the heat. I like to think that yeah. they can step it up here in the server. I want to see a good fight. And we don't have to wait long before yeah. we get to see it. Dig starting on the CT side of overpass. I yeah. think if anything, that's a worry. Fnatic's T side is so good and, and they have such a pace. But letting them, letting them start where they can dictate said pace on this half is going to work out very well Ooh. for Fnatic. You would think that yeah. Get Right has other ideas. And there is a shiner of a shot, even, even a sapphire of a shot onto Flusha. But now it's going to be up to Fnatic. They're going to gain complete connector control. Maybe try to pressure someone this A site. Waiting in lie and wait, at least, is exist. Now he finds himself pretty, pretty close up here, but already a rotation's come in. Yeah, three on this top site. Once that third player does make it up from heaven, Brolin is going to be leading the charge here. Always good for those opening kills, but right now it's Exist to find the first on this site. Uh, Fnatic down by two in the round, and they've got three to deal with. It's a fair fight on the A site. That's not what you want as a T, but Crims is making the best of a bad situation. Oh JW my. hits a flick, and now he's in a clutch. Now he's in a very winnable clutch. Ooh. A single bullet will connect, and it's on to get right on the flank. Holy smokes, what a shot there to keep this round alive. JW, 1v1 with get right. He's going to try to grab this bomb right right around the dice box, and he's going to grab a USP in the process. Finds out the Whoa. get right is just not that far Whoa. away. And yeah. on his egress, he's trying to get out of sight. He wants to get this bomb planted at the very minimum, oh. but can't win the fight with get right. Decides to stick around in the A site, and that's going to prove to be a big problem. Dignitas, pick up a pistol. Yeah, B was an option there, but the way JW throws that smoke is so that get right can only see the cross towards CT. He can't see the cross back towards truck. So JW, he tries to double fake it. He tries to bait get right into thinking he's dropped lower. Oh. But get right quick on the trigger and three kills in the round off the usp excellent work jw honestly this shot bang i mean you don't even realize he got it and with one bullet left even closes out the kill as well not the round however it's dignitas to start things off strong yeah and he sticks around for that fight which is you know kind of a curious thing he drops the smoke you think maybe he's gonna get away but that's just not how it works out now halls are with an smg he's gonna push up close he's gonna make Fnatic pay for it yeah, actually, they want nothing to do with it. They'd rather just leave, and that's probably a good decision. Mid being lost by the side of Fnatic, JW holding on to it. But it's only Glocks. Fnatic already probably talking about that. Round. And, well, it will come sooner than maybe they desire with a spray down monster. Get right, throwing his gun out, trying to make sure nothing is given to Fnatic, and that is still going to be the case. JW is late from middle, and there is no one here. Dig, Dig will hear him from the connector, and Exist should have the drop. Yeah, be hopping around on burst. Probably would have felt a lot better in 1.6, but uh, here, I think it's still a work in progress for a lot of people. Bursting Glock shots. It does feel very satisfying when you land it. I will admit that. Yeah, the one in like 90 shots with the burst Glock you get to take. Uh, maybe when it connects, it feels good. I wouldn't know. I haven't had that happen. So. <laughs> Yeah, you know, <laughs> it's not something that we see used a hell of a lot. Molotov to try and stop this fast park play, but Brolin just goes right through it and now looks to extend a bit of control into mid. Already, we're seeing some of this nice utility coming out from the dig side to find some early damage and chip away from Fnatic. Fnatic setting up with a very, very heavy presence down here towards B. Brolin is the only man up towards the A side of the map. And he does start to have Crims peeling on back, looking to join him over here in mid, even seeing Golden move away. And so, yeah, it looks like they faked B early on in this round. And I don't think we're going to see them commit to this, right? That bomb's starting to rotate away. They've seen so many smokes. They've seen so much utility coming out of this B site that they're pretty happy with the attention they've drawn down towards it. And they do leave players here. Now, a bit of a spanner in the works is Halzerk, who's got aggressive and caught a great timing on this monster push. Golden, not going to be ready for that, offers himself up. And right now, all the kills going in favor of Dig. This was a, a bonus round attempt from this CT side, and they might be about to go flawless. Yeah, Fnatic are running a very loose first rifle round here where everyone's kind of split up, and that's why things aren't going their way. Trades have not been found, and Dignitas's off angles and positions have netted them a lot of kills. The toilets, the monster push, all very helpful here for Dig to get in position. But still, in a 2v4, odds are stacked against Fnatic. 
Brolin's gonna work his way up to Sandbags, and he's there by him, loads him. However, with the bomb, it's gonna be that of Flush joining in from Monster. Brolin just for one, but doesn't matter. Big Bad Freiburg comes through with a double, and that's gonna be a roundup on the board for Dignitas, and for the money situation, Fnatic gets grown a bit weary. Yeah, we should see a 4-0 here, and that's really impressive, right? When we look at the last games that Fnatic have played on this map, I mean, they've they they lost three matches. They beat Astralis, they beat Mouseports, they beat FaZe, you know? All 16-11 or 16-12 wins, so not exactly super competitive either, which is, is so impressive for Fnatic. So, Dig have got their work cut out for them, but right now, they're doing a good job. Looking like the 4-0 lead, potentially, and Fnatic yet to get a round on the board. AW beats one Molotov mid, but not the other. And how's I going to need it as well just to keep them back and find some wow. way it's flushing mainly getting tagged actually on B. So that grenade really offers up nothing for Dignitas and they're going to fall back passively to the site, giving Fnatic the room in middle, but again, it's only an eco after all. That is the case. So far, Dignitas really not trying to venture out of their comfort zone too much. They want to apply pressure to Fnatic, knowing that Fnatic could swarm and really just steal a round away. Going to smoke out Halzerk, who had a pretty good spot, and he's only able to shift a little to the right, and that gives him a bit of a one-way here. That smoke's going to fade. Oh, they try and boost over, and JW did get tagged there. It goes through both pieces of wall at the divider. That was always the connection from Halzerk the second time around. But these pistols have gotten close over towards the toilet side. That's something that Fnatic are going to be feeling happy about. But now they've got to try and break through this defense. And that one flashbang that they had gets thrown in. They don't find Ooh. any kills on the back of it. In fact, they all come up in favor of the dig squad. Flush now brought down and Halzerg there to solidify the round victory for Dig. It is a flawless round. Money made here for the CT squad. They're feeling happy about how these last three have gone down. And now the reinvestment in from Fnatic again. And I don't think we're going to see that kind of loose style coming on in. Hugo mentioned it right heading into that first rifle round. It was very, very loose. They had like a, a bit of a default attempted to get taken. And, and then it kind of felt like, you know, there was a bit of like a... I don't want to say indecisiveness because I don't really think there was ever much of a plan from the offset, right? I think it was just to hold the default. And as they get caught trying to rotate away from B, Hauser catches that great timing. And so that's something that Fnatic can't afford to have happen again. And they know it. So it will just be spreading out early on, taking this default once more. And this time they get a good result from it. They catch Halzerg mm. on his aggression down towards short side. At this point, Fnatic now sitting a man up. They can kind of go back to the drawing board and reevaluate how they want to approach this round in a five on four. Yeah, and you can already see the change, right? Right there is Fnatic. Instead of focusing on just you know, spreading out and looking for kills, <laughs> great shot from Prims firstly, but Fnatic focus on taking an area of the map and using a lot of players to do so. Flashes up for Prims, lets him get into B short, a point of contestion, a point where Dig want to Ooh. fight back, and they will be as well inside of the B bomb site with their first kill. Freiburg holding his own on his own, and he needs to get more done, but Golden gets a quick trade and exists is left in a clutch grenade could kill the in-game leader of Fnatic and he's the one going for the plant as well so if exists considers it that could certainly spice Boom. things up but it's going to come in a bit late bomb planted already even with that grenade kill exists might be considering saving yeah you have to applaud what Fnatic was able to pull off there they draw so much attention towards that water side and you know the bottom of connector that well before they know it it's Fnatic running all the way out monster and shooting them Bit in the side and off guard. Either way, yes, this is a save round for Exist and Dignitas. Gonna have that AK going in the next round. Plenty of money, too. They'll be able to buy again. But Fnatic, but for Fnatic, rather, will have their first round on the board. Four to one. Very accurate sound effects there. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm loving what we're seeing out of Freiburg in these games. Like, he's he's really looking quite good, right? Like, that round there, it felt like there was a moment where he could have got it back under control. He just lands that, like, phenomenal one tap onto the player in Monster. I was thinking, like, is this where he just locks it all down? But no, he does get bested. Uh, 
I absolutely love like the the, the, the kind of like dig players in the sense that you, I, I, I'm with the fanatic guys. Like these are all people who do just love Counter Strike. Like you think about Freiburg as an individual, he actually had a chance where he could have gone into like an analyst role at one point. You all remember like back he did. He, he was did doing do a, a lot of analyst work there. I think he did a Malma and, yeah. and a clone actually. Yeah. So you know he, he 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 had the chance to kind of do that, and he's someone who's very eloquent and can talk about Counter Strike. But he is just someone who, who loves the nature of competitive CS, right? So much that he wants to be involved playing it not standing on the sidelines and uh that's kind of true for a good few of the dig guys like you know you you can bet that like you know they could have just streamed they could have just you know taken up like a, a managerial role they could have done anything they that's the thing right there, there's a lot yeah. that they could have done and yet they still dedicate their time to honing their craft in the server and trying to become a competitive squad with this new dig lineup well who would say new yeah. it's actually like an old line up, but <laughs> you know, a new look for these guys being back together again. And in this round, they've taken an advantage. Get right opening up with a kill onto Brolin. Now Fnatic setting up outside of the B bomb site, but Dig have got four players here. They've read this to a T, and it's going to be hard for Fnatic to put up the numbers to get them in. But Flusher and Golden do feel up to the task. Exist is just going to hide for the time being waiting for Halzerk to get into position to help him out. Now, Halzerk with his AWP is going to have to go for this fight through heaven. In the meantime, Exist falls. They don't exactly know where Halzerk is, but a probably good indication that he has that AWP. So heaven, certainly a nerve-wracking point. They're going to hear him drop for sure. That's going to bring Flusha back from the sandbags. Now, Halzerk's going to walk right in here. If he finds one, that would go a long way. Don't think that he saw the barrel of the guy at Monster, and he didn't. It was golden. And gets the last frag of the round. Two on the board for Fnatic. Yeah, I like that drop from Halzerk. You more often than not see players go into the water, but he safely drops with no uh, damage on the right side by just shifting off the rating a little bit. And that, you know, you can see Golden react right on the site. He goes wide, he looks for a player on the right. He's very Bad. attentive towards a pit because that is the common point you drop out of. But Halzerk wraps left instead. And, well, he's only going to get one, so... Good round, nonetheless, from Fnatic, especially considering Halzerk cleared right. mid, right? You talk about that four-man stack for Dig. That's because Halzerk pushed long with the AWP, and he got all that info that mid was clear. So Fnatic walk into a stack, and they still got out alive. Well, and now there's another stack. Yeah, I was about to say, speaking of stacks, look at this. Five players for Dignitas outside of, of Long here, posted up between the tree and the rocks. Meanwhile, not a player from Fnatic in sight. The closest one is going to be that of Brolin, and he's still back on the other side of the fountain. Everybody just lying in wait. Yeah, and Fnatic, they are throwing grenades into B. It's a fake, but the issue is, well, it goes both ways. Dig, they hear utility, so they know that Fnatic likely are figuring this one out very soon. But also, Fnatic are hearing no response, and that may tempt an SMG player like Flusher just to go walking in, go, okay, guys, this guy, the site might be empty, I can risk my life and just, you know, go in, get that information. If it is, we win the round. If it isn't, okay, you can divert. You can go elsewhere. But Fnatic, they're just going to group. They're just going to go in as a unit, and boom, they reap the rewards. Empty bombsite, free anti-eco, and a third round on this board. Bomb has been planted. Ten alive in the server and with the bomb planted. I wouldn't expect Ooh. this one to go any other way, but JW yeah, could what's be he lined do? up here. Let's see how many he grabs for himself. Yeah, he didn't do something gross. It's JW you like. He only deals in the nastiest of plays. And how oh. many knives? Oh, ah, 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 ah. They turned around. They know. <laughs> they figured it out. Jump scare from JW. And he's still a threat, still laying down the pain. He, I mean, that could have been like a three knife round, you know? I'm a yeah. bit sad that he gets checked. JW is licking his lips at the nice. thought. He still kills literally everyone, but uh, <laughs> that could have been a lot more rewarding for JW. Fnatic putting a third round on the board. And just slimy, just yes. a slimy little play. Look at <laughs> that. <laughs> Look, he was like, oh, really? oh, oh. dear. Yeah, good reaction. The fact that he recovers with four kills is, is enough, right? Like, that's sick. Just tip-tapping down these CTs. Yeah, I think three would have been the... Definitely a record of some sorts. Uh, yeah, there's no way he gets away with three. If you get, if you hear just your teammate get knife, you yeah, just you're, just knife. you're 180. Very some cool. Altair level uh, yeah, some... stabs from JW. Yeah. Batman falling in from the rafters. 
Oh, exist. He has had enough. He is getting aggressive. Halzik found great success from doing this the other round. Roland is so ready for it, and he's going to get the bit of damage off. Send exist flying back. JW coming up connector, making sure me. It's not a point of contest for Dig, but again, these monster pushes that have been very, very, uh, you know, aware for Dig. Uh, Halzik's done it. Get Rice done it, and he's found himself a kill from it. Fnatic, they don't want to commit here until Roland's joined them. And they're getting grouped outside a monster, walking through the smoke. Get right, missed the timing. He's just pushed up on short, but there's a rotate down. Digger stacked on lower with three. And uh, Golden's found himself a good gap as well. He needs to check the sandbags. He hasn't. He's been killed. Get right, flashed off though. It's down to the two remaining monster men who look to make this a reality. Another two on four attempt for Fnatic, and it started off well. Yeah, can they make it even better though? Brolin and Flusher, certainly. Quite the duo to go head to head with, but get right, not, not phased by the names in the server. And that's what you might expect from this man, given his tenure and experience. He's up 11 and three right now with four kills getting delivered from him in that round there. Him and Freiburg were kind of vying neck and neck for top spot here for the dig squad. And get right has solidified it in a very big way, picking up four in a key round for this dig team. This aggression in through Monster, catching Fnatic once again. You touched upon that already, Hugo. And I, I kind of imagine that up until Fnatic do something about it and actually start holding Monster, we can just see that continue for this dig squad. But in this round, Brolin picks up the pace over towards middle and catches Halzerk unaware. There is an equalizer thanks to Exist down in the connector, but this is going to come with its fair share of limitations because you get the kill in con, but you know you've lost top mid. And so you can't rotate up. Exist is trapped down in connector until one of his teammates secure him a way out or he tries to just run the gauntlet blind. And he makes that decision. He gets out over towards short side, the one area of the map that isn't occupied by uh -oh. Fnatic right now. Flusher and Get Right on the other side of this smoke from one another. And Get Right Jiggle keeps the angle, does spot Flusher. And this has given Dig a bit of an idea where this play looks to end up. Obviously, there's still a minute on the clock. There is still time for Fnatic to change their minds. But it doesn't look like they're going to, not yet anyway. Yeah, but it's only one player. So like you said, this, you know, it's, it's not full guarantee for Dig. And while they gamble with two, they can't gamble the third. Forrest is a long way from home. Fnatic looking to commit. The Molotov forces get right out and Golden's going to take the kill. I love that bit of utility for Fnatic. More flashes to be avoided. Exist knows as a solo short player, but he can't win the fight. And Fnatic, they've made this one happen. It's all down to Forrest. He's got to clutch it out, faking the drop with a pistol as well. Fnatic, surely not going to fall for that. Oh dear, they are. Oh they've got wide. Crims has, and Golden's going to be able to trade, but they were both looking at the pit at one point there. Fnatic just about winning that round. Yeah, and I guess now's the time to tell you and remind you all that Forrest is quite the gamer. This is a guy that not only has gone professional and played Counter-Strike at the highest levels for years on years on years, there's even speculation, rumors, or even just, you know, kind of a, a what-if scenario of like, what if this guy goes and plays Dota professionally? You know, like this guy is a gamer, complete gamer. And if the beard isn't telling him that, then I don't really know what you all are watching. Well, the money's broke now. Dignitas down to Felico. I wonder how Forrest is looking, you know, like being in uh, in isolation right now, how growing out his beard even longer. Oh, you don't want to slide. That's the issue. And you slide yeah. if you look to the left. And so Forrest, he can't accurately aim up a shot without falling off a millisecond later. Fnatic know there's a boost up, and therefore they know there's no one in the side of the site. They can go aggressively and fast. That's a good reaction for Fnatic. Would, would that kind of cool? If you spot that deep CT boost, you either insta-push or you don't push at all. Because while it does mean there are three players there, it means you have the chance. If you have a close master player, someone near short, you can get into the site and you can take those long-range fights. And so Fnatic, good reaction, but it needs to be instant. And, you know, yeah. it is. And if, if you're Fnatic, you get out Monster Tunnel, you get that call that there's three players trapped in graffiti, drop them all talk, drop some grenades, and that's pretty much a done deal for whoever's stuck there still. Yeah, Dig tried to, you know, beat them to the punch after they got spotted. They ran into the site, but at that point, Fnatic are already out and about. Golden lining up some crazy smokes towards middle. That's going to land in the toilet, or in front of them, rather. Nice smoke. Actually, connect. Oh, yeah, missed. It's not that nice of a smoke. Unless it's trying to bait Halzuk into fight so Flush can move up, possibly, but uh, more likely than not meant for the divider or in front of the toilets and just missed. He looked like he was taking a second to line that one up anyway. Exist has come back up con. 
Flash is in long. And the entry is in. It's a full commitment for Fnatic here. There's still a lurk with an AWP just to make matters worse. And Flash might be able to find these kills on the saving players. Uh oh. Well, it won't be Freiburg and it won't be flush of getting any kills. Freiburg can salvage this AWP and they can take it in the next round because, well, this B-bomb site, it's fallen. So yeah, sixth one on the board for Fnatic. Again, a map that's proving to be neck and neck and very close. We got that same sort of treatment on train and should somehow Fnatic drop this map after winning the first, we'll go to Dust2 to decide the whole series. And after that, Guess what happens, guys? Any guesses? Well, then we would probably uh, have another exciting series of Counter-Strike coming we up. We will. Right? And you know what? It's not just an exciting series. Here. No, it's not it's a hot match. Even more. It's not a hot match. It's a super series. Whoa. And I'm talking about Astralis with Vitality. Well done. In a best of three. So that one's going to pack a punch. Of course, after that is Cloud9 EG. But uh, yeah, you get the message. Well, that's all for later. It's all for the future. All right now, Fnatic holding a lead on the T side of Overpass. Second map in the series. He did find Train in an overtime uh, situation as well. Dig went 4-0 up on this map. Fnatic have had quite the recovery since. And the money still ain't there for Dig. It's on a half by. It's on the uh, AWP secured. And it has a Hauser and exists on a gun as well. JW coming up connected, but Exist has been here every round. So JW is patient. Fnatic have had a lot of success towards a B-bomb site. So leaning that way as well to start things off. Bowden holding for the long push. It's been pretty common for Dignitas. Oh, that's again the monster pusher does a really, really good job for, for Dig. They find a free kill. They get an AK. And unfortunately, that was bad timing for Fnatic. They just left this position. So that leaves them not being able to trade. And also with Dig knowing that this area is clear. So they're going to rotate a man up. And that's why Fnatic, while they were leaving the bomb and sending it towards A, they're going to reconsider. They know that Dig will over rotate off of this misinformation. And in fact, they've left the B site completely open. Yeah, but important to know, how's that gets boosted over the top of this long smoke? And he can actually see that long is clear. So there's a bit of a, a kind of early red flag here for Dig that this is going to be a fake play. And you see the response. They yeah. start to push short side just to really drive that point home. And now that they realize there's no one at short, there's no one at long, well, then there's only one place that this play could be coming in at, and that is the B bomb site. Forrest has got to try and lock it down from heaven. There's no one from Dig in the bomb site Ooh. itself. So they try and get down fast they try and get into the site jw just nice to exist and we got our first one in this series coming in in this round now freiburg shut down and fanatic get control of that round jw uh, where he was, did you get he that was point? hiding in con and exist was top con at the start of the round so i bet exist ran down the stairs and jw he didn't check the corner and jw just shing. i'm gonna be honest Fnatic, a little underwhelming. I thought you would have had like three knives by yeah, now. Yeah, but you know why they only have one? I'll First tell you why. Close. I'll tell you why we only have one so far. Yeah. Because it's the one year anniversary of Arya Stark knifing the Night King. And that means that paying homage to that in this game would be getting the most knife kills. And one is, you know, enough. Not so. the most. The, the Lannisters like... send their regards. I don't know if that's actually a relevant quote. Nah, it's no. Because I don't watch Game of Thrones. But... Well, Lannister always pays his debts. Now let's see if Dignitas can pay up right here. They do have the man advantage currently. They have the rifles they need. But still wary of where Fnatic want to place their main attack, their main assault, onto their objective. JW's little lurk might find him something here. How's that? Oh, just missed. But still the long player as well. Not ready for someone to be so deep. Now, JW, does he expect a second man here? How's on the big wrap round? And he's got the drop on him. Free kill. Another man up on long, though. And Brolin is going to hear all of this repositioning. A rotate is not coming, thanks to Hal uh, you know, secure of the A site. But now he's got to get a little bit more. And he does. Brolin gone. And Fnatic are falling short in this round. The AWP making things very annoying. Yeah, Golden had actually left the B site completely and tried to rotate up with this bomb to rejoin the rest of his team. Now, he's where he's meant to be, but the rest of the team have fallen around him. Crims making Ooh. noise at the B bomb site, but that's all he'll be remembered as in this round, a noisemaker. Golden is the man who has to try and deliver, and instead it's Halzerk to put a sixth round on the board for Dig, delivering an important hat-trick in that round there, not just dealing 
with JW on his aggression up through short, but even then longing it out, dealing with the man back at long side in the form of Brolin, shutting down Golden to solidify the round, and a huge one here from Halzerk, who was sitting down at the bottom of the board for this dig squad up until this round. Yeah, JW really had the open door right there. But unfortunately, just didn't really thoroughly check to see if there's somebody else in the bathrooms. And that was Halzer. Now we're going to see him go for a quick connector oh. play. He's going to get hit with the Molotov and then hit with a couple 7-6-2 rounds from JW's AK. Nothing worse than getting impacted by a grenade. Completely stops your movement and really screws you over. Crim's going to capitalize and push through the Molotov with a smoke in front of it. Exist in the long toilets. Again, this timing play of Fnatic of who beats who up in the toilets play. And with Dig not playing heavy middle, it's Brolin walking up long. This is going to come back, but again, the timing is so good for Fnatic as it often is. Brolin tucking, Ooh. and there we go. Exist has walked away. He's coming back for a second chance, but Brolin's already posted, and doesn't get much better than that for Fnatic. A five on three with further damage done from the toilets. They know Fireberg is here, and that might send him B side. I absolutely love the way Brolin plays that, right? Just ducks behind the rock because the rest of his team are clearing middle. And so either, you know, they're going to kill Exist or Exist tries to rotate in through the long... Ooh, ooh, and... See ya. Uh, uh, <laughs> I completely lost my train of thought. In which case, you know, then Brolin could have delivered the kill and he did. Uh, now, Forrest lands that remarkable little shot there, but... It shouldn't transpire to much. Him and Get Right in a two on four. A duo that goes back as old as time itself here to try and overcome these four players still remaining. Now turn three for Fnatic. But you understand why they're hesitating here on the dig side. A two on three, you know, you're still a man down, even though you've been delivered that one kill and there's certainly a chance you could find something. The odds are stacked against you and the money isn't there for dig heading into the last round of the first half. Fnatic continue to make excellent reads. They often keep bringing the bomb to the, the quote unquote wrong site and then changing it. Uh, as Dig rotate. Not that they're to know that, but the information Dig get is, okay, there's, you know, Brolin up long, there's players in mid, and then they see someone come out top con, and they kill Freiburg. So, Fnatic, doing everything that looks like an A take, the bomb was even leaving spawn and going to A on Golden as well, and then Fnatic make the decision after they kill Freiburg, back down to B, bomb goes uh, T spawn, players go connector, and they walk into the empty site. Dig a double stack day, as they should be because of the information Fnatic, Fnatic have given them. But it's misinformation. It's illusion. And it's an 8th T round. Really nice half from Fnatic as we expected on overpass here. Reiterating, three last games on overpass for Fnatic have been wins versus Astralis, Mouseports, and FaZe. So quite the scalps. And they're looking to add another. Where do you keep your scalps, Harry? On my head, mate. All <laughs> three of them. And, well, let's see JW in this round. Opening things up with a kill onto Frybo, but a lot of damage done back in response. And Dig, with three players grouped up in mid, I think they're about to try push the extremities here. And indeed they do. They catch Crims down in middle. Critically, that's not a kill onto either of the two low HP players, so they're still in this round. But, you know, the walking wounded heading down towards this B bomb site, and Big seemingly have the read, and that's thanks to this Ooh. mid aggression. Exist has cleared out the top of middle. JW gets bested down in connector, and at this point in time, you look at the minimap, Fnatic are trapped. They've got to go towards B, they've got to win these fights, and that's not a problem with the first one on to get right, but Forrest. Still alive, still kicking here at the B side of the map. They actually molly him out. So now a bomb plant found and a three on three with rotations arriving for Dig. Fnatic, they just might make something of this round yet. Yeah, JW looks like he got time looking at the uh, the mini map or, or, you know, the time, the kill feed, something like that, because he doesn't really react to Hulls like pushing connector. And now Dig have an even man retake, but they are taking a lot of time to get into the site. And Fnatic are extremely passive. Golden on the AWP, low HP. It's Brolin, rather. Waits for the contact, does take that kill. Forrest is tagged as well. The time is ticking away from Dig. They gotta get on that bomb here and now, but they don't expect a second player. Mm. And Flusher and Golden combine for the last two. Fnatic with nine at the end of the half. It's a great T side to start things off. Will they finish the series here and now? Well, let's wait and see. Let's find out after the break.
everybody and welcome back to the matchup at hand of Dignitas versus Fnatic in our ESL1 Road to Rio. 9-6 first half showing from Fnatic. We're gonna further skew those GG.bet odds in their Ooh. favor. 1-11. to 11. My name is Trace, I have Harry, I also have Hugo, and we're ready to get this party started. Oh yeah, Golden certainly is. He's found man advantage. He's got the first pick of the half as Howl's like is dead in mid. It's Dig crawling connector instead. Trying to come in on this wrap round. It would have been hopefully faster if Halzak had found that kill, but now they're scared of middle, they're scared of what lies and lurks yeah. in between them. What you were hoping is, is that you can, you know, fight that guy in top mid, slow it down, like keep him there just for an extra second on the rotation back short side, and then the comm players can try and overwhelm him. However, the strategy does not go as planned because they get Halzak stripped away immediately. And this has given Golden a safety net to get back into the A side of the map. Although, get right there, delivering that kill has now secured the A bomb site for Dig. A plant coming on in. Fnatic, they'd stacked B to begin this pistol round. Forrest going aggressive, looking to turn up the heat. And he does tap down Brolin. No jiggle peeking in that little fight. No AD. And that felt like I was watching him from a few years ago there. But, oh! Krim slipping, sliding around, does deal with Freiburg. Get right coming in on a lurk. In from behind, exist, holding the rotation of Flusher. And if oh, timing was everything, oh. and it still could be. Flusher tried to play the trigger discipline and is rewarded with one, but the time is very, very low. And Get Right's going to finish him off from the short side dig. They find that pistol round. Two kills for Get Right, two for Forrest. And a seventh on the board. Yeah, and that's not the only action that we have going on around here, as you can see in the right side of your screen. Copenhagen Flames taking on Godsent. First map having gone the way of the Flames now. Well, we're looking at Godsent picking up a second one. Zen over there with 22 and 17, not far behind him. Maiden, 21 and 12. So McAuley and crew are looking to take it to a third, which will be decided on Nuke. And that's again over there on the C stream. Twitch.tv slash ESL underscore CSGO C. What's so great is, is how well Get Right has been performing inside of this Dig roster, and especially in this series. He was the only positive player for Dig back on train, 26 to 25, just about. And right now he's top of the server despite being on the losing end of things for the time being. But Digger looking to change that and close the gap with this Antico. It's only a single one for Fnatic as they take full USPs. Going to be pop flashing from Flusher into middle from the toilet's position. I like this idea. Or long, vice versa, either or, we can see. But as that toilet smoke fades, uh, toilet smoke fades, they can push them from the sidelines. So Fnatic need to be aware of that. Right now, it's B play. Dig show early A presence. They go back with the bomb through T spawn. Actually, I say that. It's going to reconsider. Dig going A after all. They grab the bomb and move back in through middle. Players throwing the B fake right now, but they get spotted in the toilets. Crims gets a kill. Will Flusher flash them into middle, or are they still waiting for this long play? Because right now, it isn't coming through. And that pick, that kill from Crims, has sent Dig down connected to B. If anything, they were walking into Fnatic stack, and now they're avoiding it. 
Yeah, great read, great decisions in this round. And now our bomb plant found a B fanatic. They know the odds of doing much in this round. They're pretty much out the window with that plant coming in. Flash it, gonna line up a flashbang to help get these guys out from the connector side, but it doesn't actually blind Freiburg over it short. Flashing into his peak, and he does get cut down by Golden. Still a man advantage here for Fnatic, but so much time ticked off of this bomb. They'll be content with getting out of this round with a couple of rifles, and that's what they stand to do here and now, as both of them make a quick exit in through the connect. But dig eight to nine as they do find the conversion. Marlon's trying to get into the little hidey hole by the ladder that you can do, or at least yeah. he was by the looks, but he, he didn't. The way you do it is a tip. You crouch, firstly, yeah. on the yeah. ladder. You have to look at the light, and then you look at the center of the light. You line yourself up with that, the middle of it, and then you press space. Basti, you want to take us over there quickly before this round starts? No, no, no. I don't uh, want everyone to know. I don't want to leak okay, it all. You know? If you know what that's I'm talking fine. about, you know what I'm talking all about. Right, don't all right. tough. I like that. It's Bastion, like a... do the right thing, man. <laughs> And that's all we'll say about the matter. You can decide on your own moral compass what the right thing is. They're going to start this round off over towards middle. And JW's had the same idea. He gets bested immediately, as does oh Brolin alongside him. Those two Galils are immediately spat out and churned up by Dig. And really, not as much damage as you would think by Fnatic on the dig. Yeah, JW had a great grenade, and he was pulling out the Galil, but, uh, you know, it, it can take a second for you to pull out a gun before you can fire, and in that millisecond, he gets shot. But I think, you know, you give him half a second more, and he probably gets a kill there before he falls. So, he was on the face of a player coming out of middle. But unfortunately, it's not all about the face. Sometimes it's about the pace, and Dig has slowed it right down in this round. A five on three, it's where they have to wait for Fnatic to make mistakes, and if anything is given away, Dig can commit in a five on two. Right now, Fnatic are playing safe with a double A setup and a third on rotation. It's a gamble, but it might pay off because Dig are walking up long. Yeah, they're not being quiet about it either. Get right way up here. Flusher couldn't figure nice. out if he wanted to turn for a flash or not, and it doesn't matter. Get right, beats him to the trigger. Just crimson golden, they have M4s on themselves. No kits, and no planted bomb either. Oh, and now they see golden dropping into B. That's only gonna solidify this A hit, right, in a very, very big way. Crims is still here towards this side of the map, and they might discount that. Golden on the rotation up has been spotted, and that gives Crims a bit of a timing. But they know he's here, and they're wrapping short side already to try and deal with him. Now try is the operative word there. It's get right to step up, delivering three. Tying this up now, nine to nine, and leaving us on even footing. Dig, trying to bring the heat here on a map that's been very, very kind to Fnatic as of late. And I think it would be quite the statement if they do, you know, because then suddenly there's like a world in which they could have 2 0 this series. Like, you know, you'll see on the top right how close Train was in case you are just joining in. It finished 1917 in favor of Fnatic. Of course, it ended up being an overtime affair. Wow, oh, broken are Fnatic in this one. This is quite the situation to be in, and they are going to be put to the test in this series, after all. I thought Overpass would be a bit of a blowout, but Dignitas always got a little bit more up their sleeve than you think. They say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Well, this dog is doing barrel rolls so far. Maybe even a, a cartwheel. We don't know. Yeah, standing on their hands and kicking Fnatic in the face. Quite stylish, but let's see if it gets him over the line. Right now, five on four, and an eco for Fnatic should be a double-digit round for Dig. This big Dig squad looking to get on the board. No one there on the other side of that grenade. Dig very apprehensive to showing face here just yet. The timing for Crims could have been worse. He only has a scout, but... It can be lethal when in the right hands. Ooh, rolling with a deagle. Hello. Okay. Well, that's more like oh, it. Okay. Oh, my. Uh, what? What's that all about, Brolin? 
Yeah, Broly, you want to give us a bit more of that? You want to go again? Oh, is Crim's going to steal the limelight? He actually takes one down with the scout. Uh, Digger not going to be happy with this. What? Brolin's onto a third. Forest is left in the hot seat now. A very, very tall order as he's got to try and clutch this one out in a 1v4. Mm. This was an anti-eco round for the dig side, and it's damn near flawless from Fnatic. They only lose gold, and Brolin landing some phenomenal shots in that round there. The second one, yeah, the I, second don't even think, I don't even think he knows how that one connected. Like, this one, it's like, fair enough. You don't get, get right through the Fade wall, away. but that... That? It's the fadeaway, man. Yeah. Oh, but through the stop wall running. as well. And it's a headshot. I mean, oh, Freiburg just got so deleted. It's almost inconceivable. We and saw so much of that back on train from Brolin. I mean, maybe not as stylish, but he was often on Ecos, getting an opening kill, getting a five on four, finding D picks on either side. So, like, that's just, but that, that is something else entirely. Oh, my goodness. Wow, good grenades as well. Yeah, All Zerk is going to start this round off with 16 points of health. Well, Exist does control the connector. And the crossfire was there, but now JW is left out here on an island all by himself. He's only good as Brolin will hold on to this honor to be. Oh, that's not the player Crims wanted. Both uh, coming around the corner. One low, and the other finished off by the grenade. Crims takes him from 100 to 0 with that bit of utility and the scout shot, but Get Right has cleared out B again. Classic Get Right Lurk. This time, it's working wonders for Diggers. There's no way Fnatic are to know he's this deep inside of the site. They think they're rotating down from short side. Get Right has got a nasty surprise to gift away at Fnatic if he wants to take this fight. We'll see. Because the rotates are down and the player's already in. Get Right sprays and he gets golden. Flash on the trade, getting oh. taken down from the site. And this has fallen out of the hands of Fnatic. It looked like it was their round to take. And, and instead, it's Crims just trying to take any liberties he can with this scout. That is not going to be allowed. And Dig get 10 after all. So the round that uh, Dig is supposed to win, Fnatic win. And then the round that Fnatic is supposed to win, Dig win. So Counter Strike one on one. Yeah, exactly. If you want to know where CS is at right now, that's uh, that's about it. And if you want to know where we are in the series, this map, well, it's called Overpass. And that's going to leave Dust two afterwards. If Dignitas want to take us there, currently neck and neck, and then with a rifle round on both sides. Ooh, JW's okay. push okay. through. A double Mad molly man. short side, two molotovs, not one, but two, takes so much damage in doing so, and still delivers the opening kill for Fnatic in this round. Dig, no one was looking at short, and with very good reason. Why would you be looking at short? There's two mollies there. Yeah. And now another kill comes in from Crims, further extending this advantage in favor of the Fnatic squad. Dig a sent packing from this B site, and it wouldn't surprise me if it in a moment's time, you know, once the uh, the hail of bullets from Forest comes to a close, we maybe see some aggression from Fnatic. You know, still keeping these three players here because they've just seen Dig fully stacked outside of the site. But as that's kind of drawn to a close, they might get curious as to what lies Elsa on the map. And it doesn't have to be a B push. They can push extremities anywhere. And that's what Brolin is maybe looking to do here with his long hold. This is a lot of information for Fnatic to work with at the very, very least. So as Dig try and work this connector side, we're going to be looking at JW to shut them down as they try and get up towards the top. And he rotates away. That's because Brolin has pushed top mid. But this uh -oh. could be misinformation for Fnatic. As now Dig rear their head out from connector, there is a timing where they can plant this bomb at A and no one from Fnatic can do anything about it. Yeah, JW though, realizing, coming back up to the top site and making sure things are okay. 20 seconds and Dig are gonna go down lower to B. That's what Fnatic have been waiting all around long. And Flusher there with a double, dropping the bomb, winning the round for Fnatic. It's all about dying before the time for Forrest. But that doesn't help, he's got a kill. And at this point, he's looking for someone to take him out and they can do it off the time if they want. So he needs to be very, very cautious here. Time has expired. They are running. They are gunning. He's got one, but the trade is in, and that's what matters most. JW with two. The trade is in, and also is a look from the other side of the lead. We're looking at Ints taking on the Ninjas. The Pajamas currently on Overpass. That is the second map of the series. They, Nip won the map. first one. 22-19 for Nip. Now, are they copying us? I think they are. I think that they might actually be. Either way, I can sit here and tell you exactly who's on top. Alu continuing his tear, continuing his form from the previous map. And Ariel, 4-1 and one in opening duels. That goes a long way. But at least here, it's Get Right that is uh, certainly shining bright like a diamond. Yeah. Shout out Rihanna. 
I want to talk about the, how how JW plays that round. Like, that's what I would call, like, stubborn commitment, right? The double Molotov. And because his teammate has thrown this molly in front of him here to uh, deny Dig the position, he just goes, I'm committing. I'm taking this kill. I don't care what Dig threw out my way. If they wall banged alongside that spam, it would have killed him. But instead, it's just, uh, you know, uh, a bit of fire. And JW, he ain't scared of fire. He even tags exist on that kill. He doesn't just take the advantage. He does 86 damage to the second. And that holds strong for the round. Fnatic take it on that B bomb site. 11-10. Look where this is left, Dig. That's an infuriating round as well, because Dig actually do everything right, right? Like they double Molly short, yeah. they nade stack the boost, they, they set up all this crafty utility, and Fnatic just go, nah, and just go pushing through it and take every gunfight that they can. And uh, Dig, well, now with short control, looking like they want to try and assemble a boost here to get them some vision. It's actually going to be a nade stack instead. Not finding a kill this time, but I'm liking the amount of nade stacks we see from the Dig squad. However, ooh, all the kills right now coming up in favor of Fnatic. Although, as I say uh -oh. that, Halzerk exists and Freiburg have had a little say in how this round might pan out. JW. Oh, is he going to wall bang it? Oh, he might. Freiburg has to be careful. And he does get caught out by Brolin. Exist is in the clutch. 1v2. And some ex friendos on the other side. Let's see if he can muster up the courage to close this one out for Dig. Smoke goes down. And there is still a smoke on JW. That could even get dropped on the bomb or just be used to re-smoke the short side. They've cleared out Monster preemptively. So now they know that Exist has to be here in short. He sprays, but not able to find the connection. Fnatic, they'll grab the defuse. They take a 12th round. And there's still no money in those dig bank accounts. And you know, for us, we have X-Ray. So if you're watching CSGO for the first time, if this is your first time ever watching a match, then no, the players cannot see that. I do know that we have uh, new viewers joining us day in and day out, given the current situation and this importance of this ESL1 Road to Rio, and obviously all that's powered by Intel. I always think that's such like a, such a fun talking point because I remember when I tried to show this to my dad, and uh, a boomer, and yeah, and, and you know, like he he's, he doesn't he, he doesn't touch video games, but he was like he was like a, because the pros because the players have such a good read on where the enemies are coming from, yeah. he just assumed that they could see what we see, right? The outlines through the rules because they're always looking in the right spot, but no, like they. They get a very like naked view of the map yeah. in that sense, right? And it is all just about look, this is how this is what they're seeing. So you there imagine you know. there's the peak from JW, you see how quick Halzer had to be ready for that? Had to be instant. And it wasn't instant. I wish that we could play around with no X-ray. I was gonna Bastion, say the same thing. Let's if do you it. wanna start if you if you think you're up to the challenge, which I think he thinks he's up to the challenge, Bastion's great. So now assumptions, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Forcing him now to make his job harder <laughs> than it has to be. Uh, but that's the fun here of the Rotorio. Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's check out how you know how terrifying it can be holding a site and then seeing three players come out of nowhere it may not seem like nowhere to us but it really is nowhere and you know just a corner can be the difference between you know five players so yeah, well, look at this here we go dignitas oh, is gonna get right up in their face there's no way oh. that fanatic can know about this brolin on the back of a jw flash gonna get several frags this one's certainly in the hands of fanatic so far just fryber and get right alive in the year is 2020 what a time yeah, I mean, that was a pretty perfect example of what we were talking about. Two players come around the corner out of nowhere, and, uh, well, Roland deals with them. JW even gets one before he is traded by Freiburg, who sits on this top site with the bomb, still under his control, at least. That's all Dig really have in this round. Some map control down on lower as well. Get right to there, but Golden won't let him push through the monster from this off position, and Get is going to have to regroup with his teammate. No matter where you go, you want to do it as a pair. Try and trade your way to a win here. But right now, you're relying on heavy carrying from either one of these two T's. So multi-kills are required for Dig. Yeah, and with that said, you know, Get Right has been having a phenomenal map. So I think if anyone, you know, you could rely on to do some damage here in this two on four, we're going to be looking at him. And if you remember, Freiburg was instrumental to clawing train back in favor of the Dig squad. So 
Both these guys have stepped up in the history of this series, and now more than ever, they have to try and deliver that in the two on four. Flusher jump peaks there, gets the information that they are over here towards short side. That smoke gets dropped. Get right going on a lengthy wrap in through long, and he could catch a timing to deal with these players here and now. Freiburg draws the attention away. Flash goes over. Oh. Get right holding down the angle, but still crimson golden left alive inside of the bomb site, and he's trying to navigate over the top of these smokes, looking for the kills. Get right. Another one, and now just crims, but he's hidden. Tucked himself in at the truck, plays the bait and switch. And as we saw, thanks to the no x-ray, Get Right never even knew that there was a second man at the truck. Try as he might, he almost gets that 1v3 in there, and it would have been incredible to put him up at 27 kills in this game, but not quite. 14 on the board for Fnatic. Craziness. Some nice shots from Gerai, but yeah, not going to be able to close it out. Almost doesn't look like there's a second player there. Crims plays that to perfection, really just not even trying to trade because trading there is a risk. You know Gerai had his gun out, but the time was low. There were 10 seconds on the clock and Crims knew that Gerai had to either fake or stick to the plant. Either one of them is enough for him to put his weapon down and give Crims the means to an end, the way to shut down the round and guarantee 14 for Fnatic. That's where they find themselves two away from a 2-0. Dignitas, not with the money to contend either. This is not a pretty situation for Dig, but they're at least putting up a fight on a, a, a map that, you know, they, they have been banning since their, you know, build of this roster, I guess, and one that has been very good for Fnatic as of late. So, add another kill to the tally for Fnatic if they take this one. Dig, any answers here with the MAC-10s? Some pistols in play, bit of utility for this boost spot. Crimson needs to be careful. See them lining him up right now. We're going to turn the X-ray back on. We're going to run into the site with that of Dignitas, and they're going to run right into some barrels. Crimson, Golden, make it look easy. Now, again, no weapons here for the side of Dignitas. It's just Freiburg. Oh. He's going to get tap, tap, tapped away by Mr. Crims. Map point, series point. Fnatic in this Swedish side uh, looking to close it out here, 16-10. But now it's up to Dignitas. Use every bit of penny that they saved. All the pence, all the shillings. Maybe you guys know what those are. Yeah, man, they got a couple of quid lying around. Quid. How much is a shilling? <laughs> shilling? I don't even know. Is that a thing That's anymore? an old thing. No, that's, that's, a, that's yeah. a real old thing. Well, uh, shout out Scrooge. We'll get back to it in a second. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, let's see. I mean, this is... Uh, Dig's nightmare before Christmas, perhaps, is now they look to keep the dream alive. And Halzerk, speaking of Christmas, has gifted that kill onto JW there. Park control still attempted by Brolin as he trickles in late. And he's going to get the information that Dig have rotated away. Fnatic at this point have made the read that it's going to be a B play, thanks to Brolin's early warning from this mid push. That allows Flusher to join up with Crims here at the B side of the map. Two on three Ooh. though, now one on three for Crims effectively. Brolin is a long way from the action and that is set to continue. He's got to try and deliver here in a 1v3 for Fnatic. He does spot exist, but exist spots him back and does all that and a little bit more. 11 on the board for Dig as they try and force another map to overtime here. They need four in a row if they want to send us there on overpass. Yeah, last time was three. This is, well, five if you include the round they just got up against 15. So not an easy comeback by any means. But Fnatic, they do have the money. Uh, they're actually not going to fully commit. This is a really good decision from Fnatic, right? You have the round buffer, give some leeway the, uh, the way of dig, and come in with everything. The orbs, the utility, and the kits. If Fnatic fully forced here, they would have been lacking somewhat of the util. And so this allows for the best of both worlds. But right now, get right, pushing the smoke. Oh, dear, he's neck and neck. He's touching Crimson. He doesn't know it. Crimson's going to wrap the back, and oh. he almost gets a double off of it. Forrest finished with the smoke. And oh, no, Fnatic proving why they don't need guns. They don't need buys. They might get it done with an eco. Yeah, not a knife kill in this round. Certainly some style points, given the equipment that they had over on the side of Fnatic. This has gone horribly wrong for Dignitas. Back against the wall, truly. It's just Freiburg and Halzerk. They're going to posture towards this B side. They have their eyes and their targets, their crosshairs, it all set this way in a round that could potentially decide the series.
Yeah, it's all or nothing. And Dig, they're hoping for the first option. They start to get in towards this B site. One of these AKs over at Graffiti, another one over in Heaven and Golden Hidden. Down here in the pit, how's it going to be his first point of contact Ooh. and one to remember him by? Does shut down Flusher, leaving us into a two on two. On two. Brolin dropping a Molotov oh, into the man. site, but now he is alone again. One point of health on Halzer. Brolin trying to deliver here. Time ticking off this bomb, but it's only just been planted, so he knows he still has a decent bit of time to work with here. No fights getting given up. He spots oh, Halzerk, and there's the double peak, the know. swing from Freiburg. How, how does Halzerk stay alive right there? I One don't HP, know. even with the spam to the wall, I mean, the trajectory of those bullets, it all made sense. Coming off of the landing, you know, maybe shooting too early. Maybe. There's That's, a whole world of reasons. That is the lesson to be learned here. Don't shoot your shot too early. Yeah. Because you could miss. Good. Never fun. How's up? Big round though. Resurges and recovers it for Dignitas there. Freiburg double peeking off the back of that last fight from Brolin as well. So good setup from Dick. They knew where he was coming from and they cut out any chance of him winning that round. Again, the Molotovs down for Fnatic. Dick don't care and they will smoke them off to get control towards the playground. JW, we've seen him many a time with the shotgun in connector. We'll get flashed off early, but still looking to see him on later. Gerai's taking B water as well, so he's essentially trapped in this position and he's going to tuck in accordingly. Well, Brolin gets smoked out from the toilets. That's going to force him now to peek from the short side. Dig. They'll at least know that thanks to their smoke, they will have forced him towards this side of the toilets. JW's Mag 7 is about to come to light. Exist? Doesn't know it yet. But it all might be about to go very, very hey. wrong. And indeed it is. JW gets away with that kill. Now starts to rotate up through Khan. And this means he's available at the A site pretty quickly. Although I say that. He's now gone back down the connector because Get Right was making noise at oh, B. Man. Brolin is alone at the A side of the map and has to try and hold down this long push single handedly. He spots the first and Halzerg bests him. A site now belongs to Dig. Fnatic on for the retake. JW, though, Ooh. is he going to be ready for Get Right, who, let's not forget, was faking the B play? He was the lurk. And he arrives late into mid. Deals with JW. Flusher now up from the B site. Does drop Forest. Halzer playing with timings and playing with fire as Flusher removes him. Freiburg gonna try and get the trade and he does better late than never as now this leaves Crims 1v2 to try and deny a 13th to dig and stop this comeback in the tracks. Half the time ticked off of this bomb and Freiburg holds the line. 13 rounds for dig to play with. No money for Fnatic. Likely gonna be a 14th on the board for dig and this one could go the way of train. We could see another overtime yeah. here back to back and Fnatic you know they're going to be kicking themselves they didn't close in that three on two eco round right because now they've got another one of them of course two more opportunities pre overtime one of them will be a rifle round but dig they are making this happen three in a row here's that half buy I talk I say half buy it's not even that Fnatic just get pistols in this round they're waiting for loss bonus and it's a long time coming Dig going back towards long. It's been good to them in the past, but there's a player here to fight back. They deal with JW in party. Crims is next, and he is no task. Dig don't even take a point of damage, but they take a five on three. Yeah, Fnatic so close, but that gap has really closed down here. Dignitas almost about to put their fourth on the board in a 3v5. Still, Fnatic can do some weird stuff with these pistols. We've seen it. We've seen Brolin hit some ridiculous shots through the bathroom walls. You can't bank on that, and that's the lesson. Oh, Forrest dealing with flush up this A site, looking right for the taking. Oh, Brolin, I'm sorry, bud. Molotov goes in, <laughs> and that offers him up to Halzerk. He was hoping to get away with a couple of cheeky frags hidden in the long corner, but not today. Dig are not missing a beat. They are leaving no stone unturned. And while well, Golden... Bomb has been planted. Yeah. 
he's just gonna slip away. I'm good. <laughs> you know what? I'm cool, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna take what? this five seven. I'm gonna head, I'm head out. out. Okay. Right, so, you know, dig. They're uh, they're panning for gold at this point. They're looking for him. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, all the gold is in the bank right now. And come on, dig. They got to be able to put two to two, two and two together. They know it. They find him. Exist gets the round. 14 now for Dig. And this would be another comeback to overtime. They weren't able to get it across the line over on Train, where they did a similar thing. They go ahead, they get three rounds consecutively to force an overtime, and then it falls apart. But here, where they needed five in a row to get to that point, it feels like the momentum is leaning in their favor. And this final buy from Fnatic is their chance to put a stop to that before it goes to another OT. Dig. They've played well. They've fought hard to get to this point now. And they don't want it to all be in vain. JW, an aggressive stance with that AWP and what could very well be the last round of the game. Or we look at OT. JW is stay, staying out in front of the fight on the front lines, pressing the envelope. Right now he's got top connector held. Meanwhile, ooh, most of the fight what? going on over here at the B site. Forrest, Crim's just going to have a field day trying to tag each other through the wall. I think Forrest's bullet, bullets are hitting the sandbags because they look dead on to Crim's, but nothing is coming through. Those sandbags really tank bullets, as you know. But yeah, five on five, minute on the clock. Dig back to mid. They've got connector. They've got the the rotate point between the two sites, and that's the most important part. JW, he's got nowhere to back off. Long is about to be taken. And he does mm. get that kill, but look at his retreat path. Look at the options that lie ahead of him. Oh, great play from Dig. They hide behind the rock, and JW goes wide, thinking he's safe. Dig peek off the back of that. It's a really smart play instead of just going wide themselves, and JW getting the option to stay alive longer. That's not the case. Brolin has to tank the flash and can't shoot. He's waiting for the contact, but it goes the way of Halzerg. Hello, overtime. We're only three kills away from it it's an a commitment we've not seen many of these and flusher oh dear this is a play and a half interesting will, will it be enough he's hiding inside of the smoke he's letting them pass 20 seconds he can stop this bomb from getting passed if he's dead he's spammed through the smoke dig don't fall for it they won't fall for anything four on two overtime surely happening here the spray can't connect enough and it's all on crims does offer up the first anymore left in the tank no get right shuts him down and we're heading to overtime 15 to 15 and we run it back again at dig they just refuse to go down without a fight and i absolutely love it you know asking resilience of a uh, a squad that have had a pretty tough time thus far here at the road to rio seemed like it would be a big ask but dig you know, team of veterans, and that really goes without saying. You know, you look at the knaves, they've certainly got that ability, and they're showing it now. Get right, keeping up appearances. And really, in this second half, it feels like we've had Halzer start to explode onto our screens in a pretty big way as well, right? Coming in just behind that of Freiburg and Get Right, who occupy the top of the board right now. Fnatic. It's OT again. That one spot they didn't want to be in has now reared its head once more. Investment going to come on through. And I'm curious if we see any orbs purchased up. We can also see what's going down over here on the B stream. We can. Is their game's heating up and getting close as well, Trace? We absolutely can, Harry Russell. That's right, 13 to 12 currently. And eSports, the Finnish eSports organization from Finland, obviously, looking to push this one around a little bit more. In the first map of that series, it went in the way of Nip. They went to overtime, 22-19. And uh, we'll be jumping out of a pause here in a second, but we might as well update you as well on the C stream. Now, Copenhagen Flames, they pick up the first map, 16-13. That's Inferno. Dust 2 goes to Godson. Now they're trying to settle the score over here on Nuke, and that's going to leave the uh, Copenhagen Flames up 6-1 currently on their CT side. Copenhagen Flames consisting of players of caliber such as Refresh, which is a name that is refreshing. We haven't seen that around in a while, but good to see him back in the server. A player that showed a lot of promise. Now finding himself over there at the Copenhagen Flames. Meanwhile, we go to OT over time. 
Yeah, and, I mean, and, there's never much love when we go OT. Mate, I, I, I tell pray. you what, like, the, the the thing with Dig is, I hope that they look at this, you know, like, say say this series doesn't go in their favour. Yeah. I don't necessarily think that, you know, if you're Dig, you, I, I mean, like, it's going to suck because you certainly had the chances to win this series. But if you look at, like, the team that you've been able to not just take to overtime back on train, but now to do it again on overpass and to have your individuals matching the firepower of the team that has become the team to beat at the minute in the form of fanatic you know that's got to be a feel-good feel feeling for dig especially when we had get right on just before this game and he was kind of saying you know it's going to be a lengthy process it's going to take time we're trying to build this up we're investing so much time so much hours into the game right now more than we have in recent memory and it, it is showing already, right? And that is a great sign of things to come for this dig squad. A roster yeah. that I think, you know, while everyone was very, uh, very much kind of happy with the reunion of the old Nip squad under this dig banner, at the same time, I think it was met with a fair share of, you know, like, apprehension exactly. from the overall community, right? Realism. Like, how good can this team that were yeah. once legends back in the day become once again? Because as we've Ooh. seen, it's getting back to the top of the hill that you've already climbed that is the hardest feat in Counter-Strike, it feels like. And for yeah. these guys to have committed to this project, you also have to note on the fact that they're, they're doing it and they're doing it where they have to, they have to show here. They have to show face. You know, yeah. for some of these players, they've been playing for a decade more than a decade and it's this is it this is their time to leave their mark you wouldn't want to embarrass yourself on your way out right like exactly. not to say that these guys are going to do that at all they're clearly not but it would be a real shame for such a legendary team to form and then just be you know like a feeding squad like just yeah, they, getting beaten up so they have something to prove here yes and it's great to see dig really just ha bringing bring the fight bringing the heat against right now the best team in the world obviously up for debate but Fnatic, no doubt in that top three for everyone who watches CS. Now, it's back to the A take. Dig, this is what got them into overtime. Will it do them any more than that? JW above, he's not falling. He will eventually, not down to his own decision. Brolin lets a man pass and get right kills a player on the site, but he doubles up as a response. Caught in the smoke, surely no more than that. Seven seconds, there's no what time, time for a part. Brolin's dropped the bomb and Forrest, he's on his own. He can't even get the kills. Crims gets a trade and Fnatic find the first in overtime. What a mad round that that was from Brolin. Yeah, that was a little wild. He stays alive for so long. And you see JW drop the smoke there. That gives him a little bit of freedom of movement too. As JW got on dice box, tried to find some maybe WP kills. He's only good for one. That's that. And look at that. Just all over it. Just so mobile around that smoke. And that's such a nuisance for the side of Dig. The Fnatic, after sitting on 15 for so long, win the first round of overtime. JW, he's repositioned back on A with his AWP. The overtime has granted the money to Fnatic, and right now that's proving to be a blessing, or a curse, for Dignitas at least. JW waiting for that contact, and he's about to get it. Two players ready to swing, but it's JW to push first. Trade not there. Hell's like looking for something from the toilets, but JW is uh -oh. pivoting like a turret with a little bit of movement to room. Brolin gonna help him out, and there's two left for Dig already. Oh, missed shot. That might give them a chance back in. Yeah, only a slim chance though. Forrest and Freiburg to try and deliver in this two on four. Freiburg now. Now, from the toilets, does start to aggress up towards the short side. Flusher still making noise, but the boost got spotted there by Forrest. He saw that. He sees a man up on top of the dumpster. And same boost. It's not really a boost. Crims. Just some positioning. Yeah, standing atop the dumpster. Brolin falling all the way back That's through the and I think Fnatic are anticipating that Dig maybe move away from this. And at the very, very least, Brolin can come in late to pincer up through the short side. Now, Freiburg is holding because he's very wary about a connector flank. But that's not where they need to be worried about. Freiburg puts up the entry to get one over here at the A side of the map. But Flusher, hats off to him. He's done such a good job oh. of just denying this site control and buying time for the flank from Brolin. And there it is, pouncing into the back line. Flusher and Brolin get the kills they deserve. A 17th on the board for Fnatic. And one final hurrah for Dig as they head in to the last tier of the first half of OT on overpass. Yeah, you can understand why Dig slowed down there and it does a really good job of, of you know, freeing up Brolin. Uh, his rotation 
is only coming through because you know, Fnatic have lost sight of Dig. But after they get that kill on the site, I would love to see them elevate the pace and just try and trade the player on dice. Instead, sitting around waiting, uh, when Fnatic know you're there for the second time around, they're just going to rotate accordingly. And Brolin comes in on the back line. Not that Dig were to know, but there was a chance for them to win that round, maybe trade and plant the bomb. But right now, Fnatic, once again, as soon as we hit over time, you know, the pressure really coming on and while well, diamonds in the rough Fnatic have once again found a two round lead looking for a flawless ct half here that'd be quite the performance considering it's dig to bring a five round comeback to get us to overtime look how keen brolin is to fight as well he wants anything to come his way he is desperate for kills even though he's got a few in his pocket already mm. Well, sometimes you get the taste, Trace. You get the taste for, for blood. You want more. Well, maybe you should talk to somebody about that. In the meantime, it's JW with AWP. Very, very close. He's going to drop the bomb and try to get away before they trade him. And I say that he's going to repeat. Finds oh. an excellent shot on to exist. Couldn't have been much better place than that. How is he alive? How is he out? Oh, no. Oh, dear. That is the case. Get right close to this B site. Like a moth to the flame, he's attracted to try to get into the site itself, and he will cross over. Krems is spotted towards Graffiti, takes considerable damage on that cross. And they're going to bring this bomb over here to the B site. It's going to turn into a retake scenario for Fnatic real quick. Yeah, but they were ready for this, right? Not only a five on three, but they were playing retake positions. And well, that's because they're ready for it. JW boosted up a one and now get right in the pit. Has to hold his own. He okay. is stuck out on an island and two kills to his name is not going to be enough here. Halzak left in a clutch, but they're not ready for the flank. They don't expect it to miss spray. Recovers well. They're on the bomb though. And JW has the cover. Four kills off the AWP in that round. He comes alive in overtime and Fnatic go flawless on the CT side. I just don't get it, man. Fnatic, it's like, yeah, they just kind of they just kind of stop when they hit 15 and then they wait for the overtime <laughs> if it rolls around and then they go, yeah, all right, boys, so JW, you just go get four and then we'll win the round on the back of it. That's cool. And this that's is, exactly what happens here. This is second shot right here. Yeah. And see ya. Cowabunga. Decapitated is exist. Yeah, it's all about, you know, letting it go to OT and then winning it 4-0 to make those HLTV ratings look really nice. Style points. Yeah. Uh, how's that? Well, he's I even also, had to take a hit. He's I, even had to save his util. I also think all. as well, like, you know, with Fnatic, once the stress, the burden of the economy gets removed, right, they're freed up a lot more to kind of go for these audacious plays in the very, like, signature Fnatic style, right? And, like, you know, even if you think about JW, it's not like we've seen him orping, like, massively, and that has been the trend with him as an individual. You know, he doesn't need to bring it out in every round. But as you hit the overtimes, he can, just on a whim, decide to bring out the big green gun. And Ooh. here, the play attempted, attempted being the keyword, Fry Berg answers back with a double through the smoke. Forest shuts down Flusher, and it's chaos all coming up in favor of Dig. Only one man falls, a 16th now on the board, and they would need to go flawless here to take us to a double overtime on overpass. Yeah, and you notice a difference there for Fnatic, right? Obviously going into the T side going back to, to what they relied on in the regulation, which was five rifles, no all, all AKs, flat B hits. Util wasn't great on those monster players either. They were the last two, so just kind of contacting into the site. Dig, very stacked down on lower and very ready for that rush. Fnatic, well, they go back to just taking positions and defaulting once they've done so. Flush are going to take his spawn out, be short, and get spammed, and the Molotov does some damage, but he's out and about. He exists in the connector as well. Had a lot of battles against JW in that first half, who is also down the bottom of ladder. And him and Flusher looking to pinch this position. It's almost a bait for JW, trying to get Halslock to come down the stairs to walk into Flusher, holding for this. But instead, it's a boost up to watch party. Oh, and that's man. a good timing on said boost because Halzex found Crims on the mid cross, double set up there. And I think Fnatic might have a bit of an oh. idea, but knowing may not make any difference because Halzex got two. Flusher trading as he tries to exit the connector, but it's still an advantage for Dig. And now I question whether or not they're going to be ready for Exist. Also moving out from this position, right? He might be able to catch the timing. Nice. Golden is ready bomb. for Exist, but the bomb was spotted there on that peak. 
Oh, they also see Brolin over towards the long side. Freiburg gets the info there. And I like this decision to regress into the toilets. He knows, right? He's either going to get a gunfight here that can maybe turn the tide, or he catches them leaving this A side of the map and can rotate down to B. And that's kind of what was hinted there with that Ooh, from Brolin. No. But, Dig? They rotate up. Yeah, they've... They've gone for the rotation. And the reason being is because he was trying to take the fight, right? So so Digger going, okay, there's someone working A right now. Really, that was just you know him trying to clear the angle so we could go down lower. But yeah, Dig, misinformation. However, it's not the end of the world, right? You'd much rather play retake B than retake A because when you plant in B, you often have to skulk off to those choke points of monster and short. You can't really play the bomb safely from the site. Uh, and so Dignitas are in a good position, but Flusher is in a great position. He's pushed up towards CT. Golden playing the timing on Monster as well. Open plant for Flusher, and Golden's found the first. Doubles it, no, Freiburg trades, and now Flusher, his time to shine, will get a bit of damage off. The spray isn't there, and Forrest will quick kill him as they get the defuse. Oh my, that's a Man. killer for Fnatic. That it is, but still, Fnatic could close the door right here. And what has been a very valorant effort from the side of Dig. Yeah, man, I mean, that's the part that can be really bittersweet, though, right? Because if they do all of this and then Fnatic still take it anyway, then that is a little bit sad, right? Because you've got, like, these huge performances, these huge rounds, making these rounds that shouldn't ever be doable happen. The comeback, once again on the cards for Dig. Doing it twice in two maps wasn't enough. They want to do it a third here in the overtime of this one. And by the way, we accuse the Ents versus NIP game of copying us. Well, well they are. That. They're into an yeah. overtime as well. So uh, yeah, NIP lent over to Dig and said, you know, like, can we copy your homework? And Dig said, sure, just don't make it too obvious. And just, just change it up. That's why they're bit. a few rounds behind. Well. At least their third map is different from ours. Ours being Dust 2, that one being Inferno. But will we get there is the big question on everyone's mind. If Fnatic can find just this one round, well, it's done. It's all in vain. It's all over. And if not, we go again, a second overtime for Dignitas to try and fight their way to a third. How's like in the toilets? Timing is everything here. It's cleared out close positions, but Fnatic are starting to move up. And it could be missed time for them. Hauslick spots an arm and a leg, and he takes Golden right out of this round. Big advantage for Dig to find, and what is the response from Fnatic? Do they just overcommit into A, where three CT sit? Looks like they want to drop some nades over here towards this A site. Exist waiting a smoke out. He's got some friends on the other side of it. I doubt they're going to come knocking, though. They might just kick the door down. Krems, JW, and Flush, uh, a trio that stand the test of time. Ooh. So far exists as well, and he's only good for one, so the trade's there from Flusha. And so far, the battles have gone in the way of Dignitas. Just JW left, excuse me, I say that, it's Flusha left by himself. Yeah, Which he would need to ace this. Oh, uh, that might be an indicator. Oh, no way. Almost, almost needs to get this kill if he wants to get the bomb planted as well. And oh, no time. not enough time. So Try close. as he might. By staying alive, Get Right has done enough. Flusher with four, and he needed the ace to secure a victory mm. for Fnatic. He gets it so close, but yeah. not close enough. The Double overtime now. The crazy thing is there is, is Fnatic, as they're setting up for that A play, right? Not only are there three players there, but they throw a Molotov, a really nice Molotov as well, that forces Exist off of that bin's position close to toilets, and then Exist just swings, as you would, and gets a kill. Like, Fnatic, they need that frag. They need to be holding for that. If you throw utility and you don't wait for a reaction, then, yeah, you're, you're going to be in trouble. Man, we are deep in the time tunnel at this point, right? Dig making a comeback versus Fnatic happen. What year is it? Let's find out. <laughs> Exist looking down here towards the short tunnel. Molotov doesn't do any damage, but it is a bit of a warning sign for Dig to get the hell out of Connector. They turn away, they leave, they rejoin up with Halzerk and a little conga line of Swedes and, and Co. in towards this A site. Obviously barring Halzerk from that, right? Yeah, talking of him, he's rotated down B with this orb, so falling into a more standard setup with three on lower. Flasher has been selling a fake down towards B to start the round. He did some spam damage, he threw some grenades. So he's trying to keep players in the wrong place. 
Right now it's a double setup on Long. Dangerous decision from Dig. If they lose both these fights and they lose the sight and the rotator a long way out, but they're ready for it. Exist getting one. They don't expect a second, and that's when Fiber comes in clutch with a kill. They are gonna try and take some long controls. They know he's stuck in this position, and he's not even gonna back off as well. Tries to fake a reload for a fight. That's a nice little trick there. The audio will play if you start the track. Flash is even better though, and Fnatic, good response. They deal with uh, Freiburg deep on long, they get that uh, pick back, and with 25, they may as well just commit towards A. Right now, there's only one man here. Get right to beginning a rotation up, and Digger about to figure it all out. Ooh, oh, dear. Mm. Was it worth it? Forest fire lit by Krims. Now in a 2v2, Halzerk and Get Right trying to stop this bomb from being planted. Get Right looking yeah. forward through the smoke. He's going to have to do a little bit of a dancing maneuver there, but ultimately loses the battle with JW. Here's Halzerk though, coming in from the side of the dumpster. And with this bomb planted, JW's going to reposition himself. He's looking for that AWP. So now, now we can unlock JW's full potential. Oh, and he hits bank as well. And yeah, Halzerk doesn't know where JW disappeared to. JW holds down the fort with the orb. And a bit of BM at the end, you know, trying to get in the heads yeah, of Dig. Yeah. Classic JW move. How's like, what are you doing here? You're not part of the uh, NIP roster. But no, that's right. I mean, nice try from Freiburg there on long. I like the idea for Dig, the double setup that uh, fakes Fnatic, but Freiburg, he's not able to get out. That's the, the worry, right? He actually had a timing. He could have escaped, but if you don't instantly run away after that second kill, you're not getting out. And Fnatic just traded with a flashbang. So they will take the first of double OT, but Halzerg will take the first of the second round, finding Brolin deep down in the playground. Flusher flashed out a monster. Get right peeking off the back of it. He doesn't see the bomb, but he does get some information. Dignitas are going to be poised outside of B, ready for a commitment here from Fnatic. Dig's info gathering has been really good this game on the CT side. Oh, wow, that's a great just grenade. An absolute stinger of a missile. Golden catches it. Forcing him to catch one for himself inside the site. Make that two. He's brought down to 46. But so far, the battle has gone the way of Dignitas. Brolin's out. Now the hit looks to stick to B. Fnatic want to give it hell. Ooh. Ooh, what? Forrest, lots of damage through that smoke at JW. Oh, a little sigh of relief there. Is he still alive? And in the meantime, Golden gets out through Monster. Provides a kill on a get right, but a great flash allows Forrest to take that peek there. It is still traded and dealt with courtesy of Crims. And now Freiburg fragging from down here in the pit. Halzerk oh, pushes up close and drops the bomb with Golden. Now, Crims and JW to try and pick up while the rest of the team left off. Halzerk is fully blind, has exist here to help him out if needed, mm. but Halzerk might not need assistance. Mm. Actually, he Ooh. might now. It's all, it's all upon all. Clash of the Titans, JW playing around the pillar, tagged down low earlier on. One shot is all that's needed. Even with the pistol for Halzerk, but he does it with the AWP, takes on JW and lives to tell the tale. There's yeah, some revenge. Yeah. JW, a bit, a bit to him, not huh? so fun when it's you getting shot at after the round ends, huh? 19 to 19, and Dig immediately respond with a round of their own. I like the Halzerks, you know, like yeah. responding with a bit himself, you know? Because that's the thing, like when JW's memeing you, he does that every really game. That's just how he is. Oh, it's not me. Wow, that's great. That is a great grenade. That, that was is a great grenade. I love that caster. You did with your voice there, man. I love that, that caster. That was, that was, that was probably fan. my favorite Henry G clip, yeah. honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. God, I was I was really scared for I'd love to hear. I'd love to hear, the, I'd love to hear what the cast is sounds like when it's slowed down. Oh, oh my. <laughs> when we heard it in Fast Forward yesterday, well, maybe not the casting, but the intro at least, the sponsors, we're not trying to wrangle past them. We're not trying to forget the people that make this happen. Listed at the bottom of your screen. And all these matches powered on Intel. Oh, and also Freiburg empowering the FAMAS. Finds a kill on the JW. That's going to help them in this round immensely. Yeah. JW 32 and 27, but he is going to have to wait another round to see if he can get more than that. Fnatic, they're just gonna straight up commit, they're just gonna run through. What else have they got? And luckily B isn't stacked, there's only two men here. Make that one, Forrest holding his own. He's now got rotations, but they're flashed out and Forrest is deep in the sight. Oh my, he's found some damage. Crims is hidden behind the smoke, but that ain't a wall. It's about to disappear and so will his life behind it. Crims, anything here. 
can you find it? No, nope. I was like shut it down and dig. They win this half of overtime. It's double OT and it's 20 to 19, two to one in the second OT on their CT side. We now flip the script once again. Are we going to dust two is the question oh, in our mind. Oh man, I, I, I want to see dig on dust. Like I used to love watching the nip of old on dust two, right? Like you'd have like these ridiculous clips of Freiburg, you know, doing like the, the catwalk to CT drop down and things like that. I don't know, man. There's so much nostalgia. I didn't know you digged dust, Harry. But, I uh, don't know normally like dust, but dig can make me dig dust. Digging myself out of this hole now yeah. as I try <laughs> and make that one come full circle. But sometimes it's best to just let sleeping metaphors lie. Crims down here, spraying through the wall, not able to find any damage as Get Right comes out late. Short water control taken now by Get Right. And there are players over here inside of the site who might look to push this extremity. So he's just going to hang around for the time being. Smokes go up towards A in the meantime. One of those falling at toilets. And that's going to cut JW off. Dig setting up for a B play. And that smoke has kept two players up towards the A site. Golden spotted. Sees the first player rearing his head from Monster. That smoke extinguishes the molly just in the nick of time. Dig, I mean, they're in. They've got to commit, right? They are right in the firing line of Fnatic. And they're trying to close the distance. Golden gets dealt with by Halzerk, and he doubles up. He's been a little bit quiet within regulation, but here in OT, Halzerk is here to stay. JW missed shot, and that could have made all the difference at changing the outcome of this round. Brolin and JW left in a two on four to deny map point up against Dig. Oh, missed shot, but very close. Halzerk deep in the monster and JW swapping out guns. The bomb has been dropped on the site and there's 30 seconds for him to make things interesting. Smoke forward. They actually go through it. JW back to back. Oh, he turns at the worst possible moment. And Golden, oh, Brolin, sorry, trades for two. But Halzerk's going to get him quick with the orb. One HP left, three kills on the round. It's Halzerk to make it happen. I keep mi uh, mixing up Brolin and Golden. I don't mean to. How dare you? Yeah. One thing not to be mixed with is the fact that Dignitas have brought this back from the brink of disaster yeah. and potentially losing an entire series to now just about pushing us into a third map of Dust 2. So let's see if they can do it right here in this round. Such an impressive comeback for Dig, right? The five rounds in a row to get overtime, and now even you know, surfing through to a second OT, they're finally on match the, point. The thing that's even more impressive is this has been such a good map for Fnatic, and one that Dig have barely played. And as you mentioned, Hugo, before we headed into this, the last time they met Fnatic on this map, they got 16-3. Yeah. This is an incredible game from Dig to step up and match the Titans that are Fnatic right now. Crims trying to hold short, get right pressures it, and a bit of spam goes the way of Crims. He gets caught in the crossfire. Meanwhile, Exist has found an opener in this round. Man advantage for Dig and map point on the line. If four kills is all that separates them from locking in Dust 2. Yeah, we're going to have to wait around and find out. Don't sleep on Fnatic. Halzerk's going to have his AWP out, and the rest of his team's going to be joining him over here towards the side of Fountain. Looks like they want to press the long A issue, or at least split it between that and bathrooms. Yeah, this is still trying to sell B fake as well, hanging around quite late, but it's just making sure Fnatic haven't regressed, and that is the case. Very off angle for Brolin on top of the site. And he won't hang around there long, just smoking off the front of it. Now they're coming up long. He's going to go back above the smoke. Nice one way. Oh, and the man. bomb dropped as well. Brolin might be bringing us to another overtime. Flush is going to try and assist as well. He's got a kill on the site. Halzak's pushed up. He's been the hero of overtime. But 20 seconds might not be enough time for Dignitas in this round. Halzak trying to flank. And his teammate's already gone. Get right, dropping the bomb on the site and Halzerk up on the chopping block. 10 seconds for them to find him or him to find them. It doesn't really matter at this rate. It's a done deal. It's a 20th round for Fnatic. Again, Brolin just looking so good on these scoped weapons. Doesn't matter what's in his hands. He gets it done. And Fnatic, one more round to a third overtime. It would certainly do this game justice. Hit for tat, back and forth we go. Rolling with some individual heroics there to really keep Fnatic in this ball game. But 
I say that. And the other overtime over of Ints and Ninjas of Pajamas has concluded. Ints pick up that second map. That means they're going to a third of Inferno. Ooh. Didn't copy us there, did you guys? Wow, <laughs> we, we can still go to a third, Trace. Remember we this can't round. Do that. We can't go to Inferno, though. No. Sadly not. Just a bigger version of it, you know? Dust. Yeah, and I mean, if the sticky oh notes tell us my. anything, it's that Dust 2 is just a, like a larger or smaller Inferno. I really larger. don't even know. Larger? larger okay. Yeah. Either way, it tells us that, I guess. Well, JW, he sat in heaven and he killed Get Right, jumping short to spot. Like, that's mental. Holding for a boost, potentially, or the connector, but he'll take the kill when he gets it. Advantage for Fnatic. They've been good at closing these ones out, but Dig, hey, more rounds to their name. They can't be messed with either. Brolin's pushed up in the toilets. He's going to hear these flashes go over, spotting the gap. He won't be able to kill anyone through this gap. It's not the Deagle headshot wall bang. 35 seconds. Freiburg selling a fake, but it seems obvious at this point. He's dropping down lower, and Fnatic are ready for it. Three players here. Crims has a spray. He's dropped the bomb. Full rotate can come through now, but it might not be needed. They might be going to a third overtime. Freiburg trading, but they haven't even seen Golden in the corner, and he's there to drop the bomb the second time around. It's done. It's over. It's a third overtime as we get going with more Counter-Strike here on Overwatch. Man, I wanted, I wanted to see something great from this Dig Fnatic yeah. squad, and this is exactly... Look at well, this. I mean, this isn't how I imagined it going no. down. I was hoping for three maps, but if we just get three maps worth of Counter-Strike in two and then move on to a fourth map, essentially, that would be incredible. Dig, on the back foot now as Fnatic are the ones to grind their way back into an OT this time around. And that there could be a bit of a momentum switch in this game. Let's see if Dig have what it takes to keep this action coming. Smoke gets thrown. That's pretty cool. That's the smoke that goes over to extinguish the mid molly thrown from T spawn. And that's going to give the illusion that Dig have crossed thanks to that molly getting put out. You know, if you're Fnatic and you throw that Molotov and you see no one going in behind it, then you know that it's probably going to be a B play. But with the smoke falling, these players have to stay at the A side of the map. And that leaves B with just three players defending, now turned into one. Flusher can sometimes feel like he hits with the force of three. Let's see, though, oh, if that's enough man. in this round. Forrest gets the trade, and the B side now belongs to Dig. Yeah, look how deep they are as well, right? Get right, pushed up below heaven, clearing CT, making sure Fnatic haven't got any foothold in this round, in this site, not at all. Halzerk holding the molly as well. And I think he's been seen. Brolin spotted a leg, but the AWP is faster, Oof. and an instant kill has left JW alone. Might want to save this AWP once again. 10k MR3 in the major cycle, in the major circuit. So JW, he doesn't have money for days. Instead, he's just going to have to hold on to this AWP. And Dig, once again, taking the first, getting on the board nice and early. Nice little B-rush. I'm telling you, that's generally the way it goes. I mean, it's what we saw get us into overtime. Fnatic sat on 15 for the longest amount of time, and then, of course, win the first one of OT, so that puts them up to 16. And you just really start to look at things like, you know, the money system, the economy of the teams, and resetting all of that. But now we look to see who the first of 25 is in OT number three. That's the magic number. It's not very often that we've covered, I think, triple overtimes on our end here. No, uh, I tell you what, man, out of all this series is to go uh, to go to three OTs. I'm very glad it's this one, right? Like, there's so much history in the server that I'm just kind of nerding out, I'll be honest. Like, that's all this has really been, yeah. <laughs> because I love both of these teams. And the fact that, you know, Digger giving this such a good go, and, and even more than that, you know, that feels like... Yeah, good kind go of, feels like an understatement. Yeah, yeah, like it? a yeah. real understatement of, of just what it's taking to match up against the Fnatic that is in a damn near unstoppable form at the minute, it feels Ooh, like, right? Maybe. And now a B play coming on through. Back the on bomb. the cards, the bomb goes in first and gets gifted over to Fnatic Dig. They might be kicking themselves here as it all falls onto Freiburg. He's not able to deliver. Flusher answers back with three of his own, two for Golden, and a 20-second round now on the chart for Fnatic. That's a, one of the worries of throwing that nade stack. Dig have done it a lot this game, and it's never really netted them anything. They throw the triple nades outside the monster, the Astralis nades that land on the boost spot. Crim 
Grims was next to it. He gets hit for 40 by three grenades. That's not a lot. But what that does do for Fnatic is immediately tell them, guys, Digger about to rush three monster. And so everyone's just ready, right? They mow them down on short. They get the mollies in play. And Fnatic are prepared for the rush this time. So their round on the B site. Dig now, uh, the last one of the half. Wanting to take the lead again going into CT. But will Fnatic make it that easy? Triple B set up and Dig moving towards middle for a change. We've got JW again in the toilets, but he lets him go down con. He's holding for the short cross. Sees nothing, but does hear them. So he knows that Dig are hanging around the stairwell. And that's maybe where the bomb goes as well. Get right, wait for this aggression. And that's a free kill. Crims doesn't check it. And now Dig can just commit. Not only with the advantage, but with where the bomb is going. This is perfect. Golden, aggressed in with a flashbang, finds get right, exists, trades him though, and leaves Flusher alone. Yeah, the horrible thing about this is that they haven't really had too many tells that it's going to be the B play, right? Exist emerges from the connector, but that could have very easily been a player swinging for the trade on his way up towards the A bomb site. And so that delayed the rotation from Brolin and JW. That bit of uncertainty. With the man advantage in favor of Dig. Now Brolin delivering one. Has JW here to back him up if needed? And it will be needed if this round looks to go in favor of Fnatic. Ooh. Another kill for Brolin. Forrest tries to come through what? the smoke, but Brolin is on a tear. And now just exists left to beat. Locked into a 1v1 and exists at the sandbags. The bomb is so open that Exist could be anywhere. There's no hints in the bomb plant. And Exist swings out from behind the sandbags. 23 on the board for, for Big. Big? Dig. 22 on the board for Fnatic. You're right, Harry. And now, you know, we're looking for first to 25. It's another one of these ones where Fnatic, they would need to go flawless if they want to pick that up. It really does feel like that this game could just keep going to yeah. OTs till one team goes flawless in the half. And at that point, it's yeah. like a war of attrition. You know, it's like a battle of fatigue. It's and a, who tires out first? A marathon. And we actually have a, a, somebody in the house who has ran a marathon. That would be Hugo Byron. Hi. What does it take to topple that stamina, that endurance, Hugo? <sighs> lots and lots of running, Trace. So not really much else I can give you there. Fair enough. Wow. Believe Hydration is important too. Yeah. Hall Zerk's going to keep it wet in the server, and so is Exist. Yes. Yeah. Swimming with the fishes are the bodies of Fnatic in this round, and they're burning in the embers as well. Three dead to begin this one. Dig looking for 24, and Golden trying to deny it. Big entries on the in-game leader for Fnatic. B has been swept under and over. Fnatic are all over this site, and they can get the plant as well. These post plants can be so difficult to hold on to. Uh, Halzo looking for the advantage back. He won't hit his shot. Flush is stuck in the site, dead to exist, and no HP left on some of these players, but Golden can't capitalize for the ace. It will be 24 to dig, one round away from that number three. Or, in this case, number two, Dust 2, the third map of the series. Well, I'm not confused. <laughs> <laughs> if you're confused, Trace, I don't know. Maybe you're in the, uh, the wrong seat. Maybe I am. That would be the number 25 that we're looking for. And also that second or third map. God, see, you got me, man. Yeah. That second map, Dust 3. <laughs> Good grief. Source Coming two. to Cinema near you. Already out. Check HLTV.org. <gasps> Source 2 released. Flush a band. And JW backed. All of these things are not real. <laughs> Anytime you read those things, they're not real, people. Until they are, then yeah. that's very Until hard. <laughs> <laughs> One day. Halzerk in towards party. Tries to find a kill on a man getting across. JW Ooh. just runs the gauntlet through Con. I actually don't... Oh, he might not be alive oh, much longer. Go. Oh, it dodges it, JW. Still alive, still kicking over here towards short side. But it's a measly bit of control at quite the cost for Fnatic, right? JW bought down low and dig fall back into a passive hold all across the map. The only man who's out on a bit of a limb right now is Halzerk over here at the long side. How much longer is he going to commit to this angle for? Because he is on a timer and he knows that. They can come through the toilets and that's what he's got to worry about. He doesn't actually fall off. Instead, he gets peckish and decides to go in. See if he can pad these stats. Big kill onto Brolin. That's a man at long dealt with, and that opens up an avenue for Halzer to fall back into the oh, A site. Man. Golden, another big kill on the entry from him. Vests exist back inside of A, and at the very, very least, that's forced a rotation oh, up from dear. the B site. Oh, 
Oh, that's so wow. unfortunate. A second's difference could have been a round win for Fnatic, but instead it's Golden getting dropped on the A site with two players there. That's info enough, but what can Fnatic do with this info? They're losing bodies. Flusher entries B. Forrest is alone here. They know it, but the rotate is so, so quick. Frybug has come down, and another man coming in from the back line as well. Bomb planted for uh, Forrest here. Flusher covers, and it's all up to the orb. Quick kill. Flusher needs them all, and he can't oh, do it wow. at all. Halzer shuts yeah. down the series, Get in there, and he will send it packing. <laughs> Let's go to a third. Dust two, round the corner. No, yeah. but I love this from Halzerk. They were He's DMing him. They were, they, they, they were shooting his body in the first OT when they killed him, and since then, Halzerk has been on a tear. Dig, they get this second map locked in on the back of Halzerk with a phenomenal one.